You're watching IGN Live at Gamescom. Now, back in 1994, a game named System Shock unleashed a brilliant sci-fi first-person adventure like the world had never seen before. And now it's getting a stunning new remake. Here to tell us all about it, please welcome Larry Cooperman, Director of Business Development and Producer Daniel Gration from Night Dive Studios. Welcome to the IGN stage. But it looks like someone else has infiltrated our interview. Who is this uh, intimidating presence standing next to us here? This is Shodan, one of the most famous villains or villainesses mm. in video game history. And this is also very, it's a very impressive and uh, intimidating form that they're taking here on the IGN stage. I'll try not to get too distracted. I'll try to remain professional <laughs> in this interview here. Um, Let's talk about System Shock, the remake. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, in 1994, my, I never played it. My family didn't have a computer, so I missed out on this one, but I've played the games uh, that it, it, it were inspired by it and are considered spiritual successors to it, and I love those games. So I always thought I must, I'd probably like System Shock as well. Um, what's the current status of this game? So the game is in its final stages. We're up to doing some final polish, um, doing those kinds of things like uh, um, uh, doing localization for the various languages. Um, we've had a lot of great feedback from the show here uh, at Gamescom, and we're bringing that into the game, and the uh, game is really near completion. How, how, how near? Is there any... Well, so what I'm getting at is when or when, <laughs> how far away am I going to get to finally play this game? Soon. Okay. Trademark. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about, you know, for people who haven't played this game before, I, I, I think I understand you know, the gist of the, sure. the premise and, and, and what the gameplay is like. Is it going to feel like a, a game from the 90s to me? No, it's going to be a modern interpretation of the game, but it's going to keep all of the classic elements, including all of the plot. Um, much of the elements that made System Shop such an immediate classic upon its release have come over intact. The weapons, the storyline. Um, we've slimmed down some parts that were less relevant, but the player experience is going to be um, identical, only modernized for today's audience. Daniel, can you talk oh. a little bit about how you're sort of uh, approaching this remake? So we were looking at um, certain things in the game that we really did feel that we could um, take to that next level. So for example, the introductory sequence that you just saw on the monitor mm -hmm. there. So in the original game, that was just a, a cutscene, but in our version we can we put the, the, the player in the uh, hacker's apartment and the player can wander around and learn a little bit more about maybe the hacker's personality and then the story will um, play from from there and there are some there are some other things which we can't quite um, can't quite say but sure. um, it's going to be really nice to watch people um, experience these both veterans and new players for those for those veterans how much i guess how much of it is going to feel new well, I think it's going to be, I think it's a, it's a new interpretation of the classic story. All of the um, elements that, that made the game um, so influential, as you mentioned, um, you know, all the spiritual successors that came after it, all of those elements are intact. But um, things like the controls in particular have been modernized to make it more accessible for today's audience. So people that are going to pick up the game, um, one of the things that's been great is watching the, the thousands of people that have, have played the demo here. Mm -hmm. um, it's very intuitive. They, they begin playing the game. They don't need a whole lot of hand-holding um, to get into the game. Um, but that said, they're going to find all the things that made the immersive sim such an influential genre are still intact. And so the footage that we're looking at here, can you speak to this? Where, where are we in the game at this point? Dan? So this is the beginning sequence where the hacker has undergone his uh, medical procedure mm -hmm. and he's just woken up and he has no idea what has happened on the station. He did some work six months ago for Edward Diego and he was um, put into um, neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. He wakes up and he just finds these horrible creatures <laughs> that you can see here um, and he has to work out what has happened to the station's AI and um, just try and get to the, the bottom of, what, of what's happened. By the way, I should add that the station's AI that Daniel just referenced is immaculately represented <laughs> exactly, next yeah. to us. Yeah, this, this is our, <laughs> our very special guest that's joining us along here today. How did you approach uh, updating the visuals in this game? So we tried to reach something uh, of a hybrid effect. Um, the visuals are very modern, look very, very clear uh, of what they are. I mean, 
can't compare that to the 1994 technology, much advanced. New players are going to see exactly what, uh, what, what we would have done in 1994 had we had the resources. But at the same time, we've got a, a slight pixelization to it that the classic game players are really going to enjoy. It's, it's almost, it seems like you wanted to, you wanted to, people who have played it before, you wanted something in there so they recognize something that they remember, right? There are also a number of uh, Easter eggs that are represented visually that they're going to have a wonderful time uncovering. Well, I'm very excited to finally get to check out uh, System Shock. You said it's coming soon, um, trademark. I can't <laughs> wait. Uh, it's definitely one of my most anticipated games that are on the horizon. So thank you so much for joining us, all Dam three of you. Damon, before I go, uh, yes. I do want to uh, give a special thanks, not only to you for being the host, mm. um, but also to our publishing partner, Prime Matter, without whom none of this would be possible, and with the folks from Lightning Cosplay that oh, yeah. did an extraordinary job. Yeah, that's very, very, very impressive. I'm blown away over here. Thank you so much. System Shock will be here soon, but while you wait, you can go download the demo and get some hands-on time with it yourself. Keep watching IGN Live at Gamescom for more.